Hi, my name is Robbie. I live in Pulaski, Tennessee, which is a little over an hour south of Nashville. I grew up in a Christian home. I went to a Christian elementary school and I was taught right from wrong. I have an el elementary education degree. I was a police officer. I was a military wife. I worked for a Bible organization and I'm now teaching my twin fourth graders at home and taking care of my elderly mother. My husband and I are both high risk for COVID, as is my mother. My husband has been out of work since May due to COVID. I've always been a Republican. I remember President Ronald Reagan when I was fairly young and he seemed like such a good, kind man and I just assumed that that was what a president was. I remember George Bush in 9-11, and he always seemed calm when he spoke and a strong leader and displayed strength and resolve in a time of crisis. I could not bring myself to vote for Trump in the last election. He fires you if you challenge him, and he seeks retribution if you dare to disagree with him. We are studying American history in fourth grade with our girls. We learn that George Washington, the commander in chief of the Continental Army and our first president, showed strong learning skills. He was open and responsive to other people's ideas. He collaborated with other people. These are the traits that made him a good leader. Now listen to these traits. Grandiose sense of self-importance. Exaggerates achievements and abilities. Preoccupied with dreams of unlimited power and success. Has a need for excessive admiration. Has a sense of entitlement. Exploits other people to achieve personal goals. Lacks empathy regarding the needs and feelings of others. My family has told me that I get my information from liberal sources. This is not true. I get my information from Trump himself. I see his tweets. I hear him speak. I am most always appalled. I use my own brain to decide what I think and how I interpret what he does and says. It continues to amaze me that after I express my irritation and frustration at what he says and does, that I find myself reading an article saying the exact same things that I have felt and thought. I refuse to blindly follow Trump just because he carries the title Republican. I realize that I disagree with the Democratic Party on important issues, especially abortion. The lives of unborn babies need to be protected, but members of the Republican Party continue to disregard the lives of our elderly and those of us that are otherwise healthy but have an underlying health condition. I have asthma. I exercise. I have run marathons. I'm active and I lead a normal life. My husband had a pacemaker put in at 34. We have nine-year-old daughters. The Republicans would sacrifice us in order to save the economy. Ask the children. Do you want a booming economy or do you want your parents? I'll let you decide what you think they would choose. I'm just a normal, everyday person, but I have a voice and I have a vote and I voted for Joe Biden.